something about something about you, oh boy. Oh, I don't do things that I should have. Something about something about something about. Hey guys, so I am so, so excited for today's video because today we are going to be reacting to the current queen of pop, Ariana Grande. So if you're super stoked for that like I am, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Smash that juicy red subscribe button. If you're brand new to my channel and let's hop into it. Pause, 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 pause. What choreography? Jumping up and down and going like this does not count. That is not dancing. That is not choreography. That is jumping up and down. Let's get that straight for one. For two, her voice, like, I don't know. I just want to set the record straight because I see all these videos that are just like, Ariana Grande's voice getting worse over the years or like she's losing her talent and destroying her voice and blah, 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 blah. Meanwhile, I'm like listening to that first clip from when she first started her singing career. She sang like really hard in her throat and now her vocal technique is like totally relaxed. So that's what them haters need to do. Relax. I think she's gotten totally better over the years, singing wise. Choreography wise, that wasn't choreography. That was just jumping up and down. But let's get back into this. <laughs> she's such a cutie pie. This totally reminds me of Ariel once she becomes a human. A little mermaid, obviously. Step, touch, step, touch. Walk, two, three, four. Step, touch, step, touch. <laughs> Well, I guess it's better than just jumping up and down. At least she's cute. At least her outfits are on point. Just kidding, she has the voice of a goddess. She doesn't even need to dance, to be fair. I absolutely love A-line dresses, and I love that she's always wearing these cute little cinch at the waist A-line short dresses and skirts. They're super cute and super flattering on her. But I also wanted to say, in terms of choreography, she did this one number that I'm expecting it's probably not going to be in this video, but it was, I think she was at the AMAs and it was to focus and she like comes out and opens up this red curtain and she does this really, really cute musical theater type piece and there was like lots of dancing and stuff and it used to be all over the internet and then one day it just disappeared and it was completely gone. And I don't know why, I don't know maybe if she was like lip syncing that performance or something, she was lip syncing in one part or something and was like, oh my God, get that off the internet. I don't know what the deal was, but I just remember that was like my favorite time ever seeing Ariana Grande perform. It was Focus. It might have been the AMAs. I feel like. I don't know. If you know which performance I'm talking about, let me know in the comments below. But it was like only on the internet for a short little period of time, and it was like the best ever. So I don't know why they pulled it off the internet, but they did. <laughs> Ah, screw it, sister. <laughs> Not some more jumping. <laughs> oh, 
There we go, girl. There's some energy. If you don't know, it is actually unbelievably hard to sing and dance at the same time. And this is actually a huge reason for why there's a lot of lip syncing in the music industry. And a lot of people are like shaming people that lip sync and are like, Oh my God, you should be able to sing and dance at the same time. And I'm paying good ticket prices to see you perform live. That being said, they do perform a lot of their stuff live if possible. But when you're doing like a high energy dance piece, say like Beyonce and Britney Spears, I have no doubt in my mind that maybe they're singing live, but maybe 10% of that audio is getting projected to the audience and 90% of the audio is coming from a track. Because you can't possibly like dance full out and sing full out and not sound out of breath. It just doesn't work. Those of you that do musical theater know how it works because when you have to sing and you have to dance, you're just out of breath and that's just how it is and it's kind of an accepted thing in the world of musical theater. But when it comes to pop artists, they want to give you the most beautiful, clean audio that sounds the most similar to the track. And so a lot of the time they do lip sync or they just incorporate like 10% of the real voice and 90% of the track and they blend those two sounds together. Not saying that that's what Ariana is doing in this section. I'm just saying that's something that they do a lot of the time in the music industry. And so don't hate on your favorite pop stars if you find out they're lip syncing. It's totally normal. A lot of the time the acoustics of the arena or where you're performing just need it so that you have to lip sync to a track because there's no way that they're going to project a live vocal without a whole bunch of feedback. There's lots of different things that go into it. Rest assured that your favorite artists are going to sing live for you whenever they possibly can and just support them. Yeah, she did this number, but it was like super musical theater and she had like a go-go style outfit on. It was so cute. I don't know why they deleted it off the internet. I don't know if it's from all of the performing, but she just gets tinier and tinier and tinier and tinier as time goes on. I feel around 2014, 2015, Ariana was starting to get way more comfortable in her body and moving on stage. She's always been comfortable on stage and comfortable singing, but I think Ariana is one of the most talented stars of this generation. And her work ethic is like unparalleled. She just does not stop. You see that kick? Yeah, that's queen. <laughs> You can tell she absolutely loves what she's doing. And I think she takes a lot of inspiration from the girl bands of the late 90s and early 2000s and like Beyonce. She's iconic. I love whoever dresses her because she literally has like the most on point outfits all the time. Whether it's for a live performance or just like red carpet or interviews or anything, she always looks absolutely amazing.
See, look how much more comfortable she is on stage moving and dancing at this point. It's not like, obviously, the most intricate choreography, but when it comes to pop stars, it's kind of an added bonus when they also dance. Like, their job is to get out there and sing and entertain you, so... It's always like an added bonus. I love when singers can dance as well. Oh yeah, this is the performance I was talking about. But there was like a high quality one that was released. And then blocked from the internet forever. <laughs> the pants and jacket are huge. So sassy, I love it. Being one of her back up dancers would be so much fun. They're living. <laughs> their best life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she totally gives me like 60s go-go vibes all the time. The pants, they're huge, they're amazing. <laughs> okay, well that was it for this choreography evolution. I am kinda sad to see there's nothing too updated in there. If you know of any videos that have any like 2018, 2019 clips of Ariana, if she's been doing any dancing as of lately, then definitely let me know in the comments below. But what I would have to say is that it was awesome to see her go on stage and still be trying to dance, still be trying to move, trying to have this energy right from the get-go, and to watch somebody not dance at all and then to be totally comfortable on stage moving and doing choreography while they're singing is absolutely amazing so that was cool to watch her evolution the biggest thing that I have to say about Ariana Grande is that she goes from being like a girl out there on stage singing and performing to like owning the stage having absolutely amazing stage presence and just like looking so comfortable and like she belongs up there through her transformation. So that was awesome. I would love to see more dancing from her. I would love to see Ariana Grande incorporate like just as much choreography as Beyonce does in the future. I think that Ariana Grande can handle it. She has an amazing work ethic. Just watching how much she's improved over these few years being on stage is absolutely amazing. Not just her dancing, her voice has improved as well. And like I said, it's just an added bonus when singers and pop stars can dance. It's really not their job at the end of the day. All they have to do is go out there and sing. That's what you're paying to see. So it's just an added bonus when they work so hard and incorporate dances into their work as well. So that's really cool. That's all I have to say for Ariana Grande's choreography in Dance Evolution. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for videos that you would like me to react to next, definitely let me know in the comments below. And as usual, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Thank you, next bitch.